Hello and welcome back. Um, another video on uh, a pro program called SyncToy 2.1, uh, which is a free application that you can use on Windows machines to synchronize files and folders uh, between locations, so on the same PC, on a network, external drive, etc. Uh, and also you can use it to share files and copy, make backup copies of files and folders. You can also set up a scheduler. Um, which I won't do on in this video. There's the details. I've downloaded the 32-bit uh, uh, small file for Windows 7. Uh, you can choose which one you want to do. Uh, there's the Windows operating system requirements. XP supported, which is not not long to go now. Windows 7, and uh, you need uh, this framework, which it'll install automatically. So have a read at the full details instructions, the links in the video and once you've installed it with admin rights obviously uh, it looks like this and um, think toy. So basically it allows you to create pairs so you can create a new pair from here. I've created several okay and you can look at all of them and you can then say right choose on the left which folder you want to share or file and on the right uh, w the other location where you want uh, the uh, folder to sync to and you can have it on a cloud station you can have it on um, Dropbox as I've got it here and you can choose the action which is synchronization uh, echo and contribute uh, synchronization short explanation says new and updated files are copied both ways so it's both ways renames and deletes on either side are repeated on the other uh, echo does new and updated files are copied left to right so it's one way and renames and deletes on the left are repeated on the right so I would test it out before you um, once you can get fully grips with it then you can choose which one you want to do. Contribute allows you to uh, new and updated files are copied left to right, renames on the left are repeated on the right, no, there are no deletions that's what it says there. I've, I've actually chosen um, synchronize for that one because I want uh, this sync folder to sync to Dropbox so every changes I make here it goes to update the key pass in that that file or folder in on um, Dropbox and on the network I've chosen at echo which is left to right and uh, so you can choose any you can re delete the folder rename the pair etc and the options you can get here for example um, is you you I've left them as they are you can select the options you want and if you can see let's do that again and um, these are the selection uh, options you you're given but I've left them as they are um, and I suggest you do the same right and and all you do is um, run it and it's very quick so for example if I want uh, this folder to sync to that one I just do run and it's very very quick you haven't synchronized folder pair that with the following endpoint would you like to continue yes and it's it does it there you go so obviously it's I've already synced it so that's what you get um, yeah um, have a look at it see what you think um, more details on their website and I hope you like the video thanks for watching bye for now